Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for you and them. So this is going to be about you and your connection, how you feel about each other and what's the potential outcome. I'm just going to get right into it. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Capricorn regarding love? What messages do you have for Capricorn? This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, Spirit, tell me about Capricorn's energies. What are Capricorn's energies at this time? Your love life is being affected by children. Can I get one more, please? For Capricorn. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Deception at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm getting a few things here. Capricorn, the first message that I'm getting is that some of you are ready for commitment and you're dealing with someone who is not on the same level as you, not as mature as you, not as willing or able to commit. And others of you, I feel like there is children involved like actual children involved between you or one of you has children tell me about the person that capricorn is in a connection with what are their energies at this time soulmate yes this is your soulmate this person feels like you are their person there's a strong connection here what's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person's spirit. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like the first message that I got, bottom of the deck, release your ex. The time has come to release your energy or to clear your energy in heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So what I'm getting, like, is like that first message of like, someone's not all in. And I don't know if it's because there's children involved or other responsibilities or because someone's just not stepping up to the plate. Burning passion, passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. I don't know why I want another one. Can I get another one for Capricorn? Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There's regret over the past. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past. There's something that you feel uh, regret about or responsibility or guilt about that has to do with this person. Now keep in mind, this reading will not resonate with everyone. So you'll know if this is your reading or not pretty soon here. But this is what I'm getting for... Capricorn and Capricorn I have you on this side and your person on the other but feel free to flip them because energy could be flipped all right tell me about Capricorn's person what are their energies at this time Capricorn's person please moving forward cycles endings beginnings you're moving forward into a new chapter And what can you tell me about the mutual energies? Can you tell me about the mutual energies here? Wedding bells and budding romance. Wow, look at this. New love. You're ready to commit to each other. Romance is in the air. This requires some sort of effort here. See, I don't know what is going on. I feel like you have engagement on your side. There's wedding bells and budding romance between you, or at least the mutual energies here, as long as someone makes the effort. But your soulmate or your person who feels you are their soulmate is ready to move forward into a new chapter. Tie it up at the bottom and deep breath right after that. So I, I'm just not getting that you're on the the same page, I guess I should say. 
So let's see. What does the tarot have for us here? What messages do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What messages do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What can you tell us? Ace of Swords. Well, you got something to say. Or perhaps you want clarity, information, ready to speak your truth here. Yeah, this is the Moon Reverse Pisces energy. This is you, like you are ready to just get everything out in the open. Speak directly. Look at things clearly. There's no more illusion here. No more hiding. Ten of Pentacles. This probably has something to do um, regarding a commitment, family, children. It's like you want to have the talk. Tell me about Capricorn's person, Spirit. Okay, you tell me about Capricorn's person? Seven of Cups Reverse. Now remember, I have... This for me is your person, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me about Capricorn's person, please, Spirit. The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. What else can you tell me about Capricorn's person? Wow, we got the Ace of Cups. So this person really does have a lot of love for you, sees you as their soulmate, and wants to make an offer here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very solid offer that can lead to something long term. But with the Hermit Reverse, it's almost like they're extremely withdrawn, have like ran away here. Or are avoiding this conversation or something's off with your person here. Tell me about the mutual energies here between Capricorn and this other person. What are the mutual energies here, please? Oh, wow. We have, wow. We have the fool and the world. Whole new beginning here. This is that cycles, endings, beginnings card. Um, someone needing to end a cycle to have a new beginning. Someone needing to end a chapter in order to start a new one. So I feel like your your connection with this person is kind of like at, on, on a, uh, a threshold. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Well, oh, King of Wands just wanted to pop out. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. The Star Reverse Aquarius Energy. Again, I just get this sense, Capricorn, that you just want to have an open and honest conversation. I feel like you want to get this done like right away. With the star reverse, maybe there's a lot of healing that needs to happen in this connection, or perhaps you feel like this is a hopeless situation or you're losing faith in something here. And this was something that you wanted, maybe you were very passionate about or very motivated by. Eight of Swords reversed here. You're no longer scared to open up, to have this conversation. Maybe you've been overthinking about what to say, what when this conversation will take place. Tell me about the Moon reverse. Why is the Moon reverse? Why is the Moon reverse, please? Two of Wands, Reverse. Why is the Moon Reverse? Queen of Swords, Reverse. Okay, so there's something here that you had, like didn't know or someone was possibly not telling you the whole story. There could have been infidelity here that came to the surface. Because the two of wands reverse for me as a reader can be someone that steps outside of their connection. Let me get one more. Can I get one more, please? 
or the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse here? Yeah, the Empress reverse. Someone's very upset. Ace of Wands at the bottom, Eight of Swords reverse. Something's not growing, not progressing. Knight of Wands. This is about going after a new beginning. Breaking free of fear to go after a new beginning, to manifest something, to just go for it. But with the Queen of Swords reverse and the Emperor's reverse, either someone's going to be very upset about this or you're not happy with what's coming to the surface here. And I feel like there's like a very serious conversation taking place here to talk about what, what happened or what's not clear. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Because there's something that you regret regarding the past here. And I feel like you're going to have regret after something comes out. Knight of Pentacles reverse. King of Cups reverse. Something to do with commitment here. Um, can I get one more for the Ten of Pentacles? With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, something's just not happening. An opportunity hasn't taken place. Someone has not received an offer after a long time. Yeah, this has been very heartbreaking for someone. They just have not been able to get it together is what I just heard. <laughs> Okay. Capricorn, I feel like you have a lot of emotions or a lot of things like on your mind. There's a lot going on with this moon reverse. Something is being seen very clearly. And whether you're upset about it or not, I feel like whatever has taken place, it's forcing you to make some sort of a decision. Like you can't just ignore it, whatever this is. Oops. Tell me about, let's look at this Hermit Reverse first. Tell me about this Hermit Reverse. Why is this Hermit Reverse? Six of Cups reversed. Someone stuck over the past. Why is the Hermit Reverse? I also heard bad memories. Typically, I don't get that with the Six of Cups reverse, but that is one of the meanings. Nine of Pentacles reverse. This person's attached to the past. And with the High Priestess at the bottom, I feel like this isn't, like they've kept this to themselves something about a conflict with a partnership i don't know if this is a partnership with you or disconnect with you or disconnect with someone else but with the high priestess i feel like this isn't being talked about or someone this is a secret can i get one more for the hermit reverse where's the hermit reverse The Emperor reversed Aries energy. So this person um, either doesn't have the courage to face something or feels like they, they, they're powerless. They have no control over the situation. I don't think that's true, but that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you are definitely in a third party. I have the Three of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Wands reversed, which she can definitely get in the way of things. So what's the Seven of Cups reversed about? Why is the Seven of Cups reversed? Queen of Wands reversed. I 
the sun. There's no confusion, there's clarity. But with the Queen of Wands reverse, there's like mistakes being made. Ten of Wands reverse, burden being dropped, resistance fighting back, wondering if things are going to work out. And again, with the Three of Swords reverse. Some of you, I feel, are definitely in a third party situation where there's someone in between here. A burden on this connection. This could be, I almost just broke my neck. This could be family situation. It could be ex-partner, current partner. It could be finances, career, something. Something is a burden getting in the way of this connection. I feel like with the Seven of Cups reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse, like that's that to me is like a bad decision or a mistake being made because someone didn't think it through. I feel like that led to some sort of a burden here. And now I feel like when it's time for them to do something about it with the Emperor reverse and the Hermit reverse, it's like they're not taking action or they're like running away. Even though this is their mess. You know, there's a lot of love here. What's this Ace of Cups about? I feel like there's this person loves you, but what is this other situation like outside of this? Tell me about this Ace of Cups, please. What's this Ace of Cups about? Yikes. Three of Cups at the bottom reversed. So I feel like there was some sort of separation or disconnect, a bad ending between you and this person. Someone left this connection, even though they still loved you, or it's like they still think about this. They still think about this, what happened. I feel like this blew up in someone's face. With the Page of Wands reverse, I'm also picking up, it's like promises they couldn't keep. Not sticking to, yeah, this is someone that wanted to avoid a tower. Someone wanted to avoid a tower and it became an interference. Tell me if this is resonating for you, Capricorn, because I feel like this is very complex. If it's resonating for you, let me know what is the story here for you. Because I feel like this is something where you know, this person, you know, is your soulmate or feels are your soulmate, but they also, I feel, left a situation with you or they're leaving a situation right now. But with the Ten of Swords reverse, I feel like this has already happened. I don't think this is something that's going to happen. I think this has already happened. And I feel like there's like a new beginning here, a new cycle. What's this world about? It could also be that this person is motivated by their love for you. And so maybe even though they're powerless, even though they're withdrawn, they're trying to close a chapter here and move forward with you. We'll see. Tell me about this world. What is the world about? Wow, a second chance, a rebirth, a second, a resurrection. Tell me about the world. Judgment is huge. Judgment happens right before the world. Yeah, this is like a whole new beginning here. What's the fool? Tell me about the fool. New love. New love that leads to commitment. Three of Pentacles, reverse, Six of Swords. See, someone's moving forward. Someone's leaving a situation in order to have a new beginning here. Recovering what they've lost. There could even be a divorce involved here. Family situation. Jesus. So what is the potential outcome? Because this is like 
obviously there's a, there's someone here that's you know I feel needing to make the effort I just can't shake the fact that someone's already in a commitment here I feel like that is this wedding bells for some reason I'm not thinking it's commitment with you you know because I have new love here budding romance and then wedding bells on the other side and then like a whole new beginning here, which requires someone to leave a situation with a six of swords, a third party situation. Something wasn't working, so someone left. So what is the potential outcome? So I'm gonna choose a few cards in this video, three cards, and then I'll clarify the potential outcome in the extended, and then I'll grab some secret moon oracle decks so that I can um, look at what they're secretly thinking or feeling. We'll look at their true intentions and any advice that Spirit has for you. So if you'd like to check that out, the extended link is down in the description box below. For Capricorn Spirit, what is the potential outcome in the near future? What's the potential outcome in the near future here? For Capricorn and this other person. Wow, we got the Eight of Cups reversed. Some sort of a return or a delayed departure. What's the potential outcome between Capricorn and this other person? This could be a, a, a possibly a delay because I have the Six of Cups, not the Six of Cups, what am I saying? The Six of Swords. And moving forward, potential outcome, please, in the near future. Eight of Swords reverse, breaking free of fear. Knight of Wands reverse, yikes. Bottom of the deck, five of wands reverse, five of cups reverse. This is all about overcoming something. The fighting is over, the conflict is over. Related to the past in some way, to something that has already happened. This knight of wands reverse is unable to commit to something or finish something. Um, they could be delayed or blocked from moving, like physically taking action, which kind of makes sense if it, you know, we look at the Eight of Cups reversed here. It could be that someone's just delayed in completely making that move. I feel like this um, feeling stuck with the Eight of Swords reversed. I feel like this is mental. I don't think that someone's actually like physically being prevented from moving on something here or from leaving a situation. I think this is a mental block. And it, you know, it could be that they want to avoid drama, keep the peace with the five of wands reverse. And so they're hesitating. But this is required for this new beginning. So, you know, let's hope that your person does what they need to do. Although I feel like this is a very complex situation. If this resonated for you, Capricorn, leave me a comment. Let me know down below how it resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. I read all of your comments, even though I can't respond to them all. Thank you so much for your likes, share, subscribes. If you enjoy the readings, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Um, it really helps the channel grow. It's a great way that you can support the channel for free. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.